this bridge brought the, the east side of Baltimore and the west side or the southwest side of Baltimore together. It linked Anne Arundel County and Baltimore County. Businesses were built around the fact that we had transportation in that area. Hazmats could go over the bridge where they can't go through tunnels. So there's so many factors. Uh, tens of thousands of people have been impacted. The money that's going to be laid out to put this back together it is just going to be incredible. And a lot of what's being done in the port, um, it, it's container ships. The container ships that come in here, all the different commodities that are brought in and out, it's probably hard to actually catalog them all. And yes, we have some uh, raw material in, um, materials that still come through the, um, the city. We, we, we ship coal from, uh, from Western Maryland and from West. We ship it out, and there's just so many different uh, factors that go into the economic ability of, of, uh, of the harbor. That bridge was vital to industry and to the uh, workers, to the community. Um, it's vital. It's vital that, that, that the port come back for the state of Maryland, this entire region. It's, it's important that that happens. We have a great workforce. We have stevedores. We have uh, transportation people, and they're just uh, chafing at the bit to get back to work. Yep. Um, we're going to rebuild. I know we are. That entire area has been redeveloped and repurposed. New industry is going in. You can see that there are ships over there now, where for many years we didn't see ships going into Old Road Bay. But now, car carriers are over there. All types of uh, commerce is being conducted, and we'll get it back.